No doubt about it. The plane is up in the air. We are underway with the last game of the day. And all right, a couple things here, guys. Just a reminder, PGIS presented by Intel, where the gaming happens. And if you are just tuning in, you missed some of the games earlier, be not afraid. The VODs are available either on YouTube or Twitch. And if you're looking for it on YouTube, just PUBG Esports. Go ahead and subscribe to that channel. You can catch all the games. All the VODs will be there. Also, the map stream, PUBG Esports map on Twitch. Make sure you're watching it. Very important, very helpful for these games. And I'm going to put you on the spot here, Toby. Pick a team, who's winning? Uh, <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna blind I'm gonna blindfold this one and say 4 a.m. I looked over okay, towards the map stream. That was the first team my eyes caught because they were pretty much in the center of the map. If I'm I'm going 4 a.m. with this one. Okay, I'm what about you? Go you gotta pick one. TSG. 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 You know that that is not that is not a bad pick. We're going full China. I like it. Full China for yep. uh, for the final game. We'll see whether that's going to be the case or not. Just about 28 to 30 minutes from now, depending, of course, on um, on how the last games unfold. And we, we, we talked earlier about, I mean, it's only only a five-game day today, but it feels like a nine-game day today. These games are all so long. It all comes down to the final circle. I mean, we've seen games the last two. How wide has the circle been? 10 meters, maybe? And oh, no. TSM, they are pushing up close, and well, we talked about fights and how, first of all, you don't want to have to take them early on, but if you have to, get them over and done with as fast as humanly possible, because you never know who's over the next hill ready. So third party bot spots one. June, down to low HP, will be taken down with a little help from STK behind as well. Divine will be eliminated. First team to for sure not make it through to the weekly finals of this match as they fall in 16th. Dude, if I was any player in this, like, lobby right now, I'd be messaging you to not talk about me because all week you have been <laughs> cursing the heck out of people, man. Oh, I don't know what you've got. I don't know what kind of juju you've managed to summon, but it ain't good. All right, Godby, speaking of bad juju, he's going to get taken off of a bike out there, and that's going to be him down and out. Purdy picking up another one. And, yeah, wow. it, it does kind of set her up in that direction you were talking about, but a little bit more west than maybe we were expecting. We saw the map, and we saw how open that whole center of the new circle is. There is just nothing you can play there. It's so incredibly open, and with the compound still on the south side, it's not gonna... It's just really, really difficult to play around that side of the circle. That's why we, there was. That's why there wasn't anyone there before, and that's why probably there won't be too many teams going that way now. Uh, they might fight uh, <laughs> Detonation Ooh. Gaming Wider. Oh, good grenade. Wow. That gets some damage. And yep. Yep. Burram wants to fight. Solid attempt with an eight there. Fortunately for the nation gaming wide as much as Kanaxi and Burian wants to fight, they are ready. At least for now, with the response no drop. Somewhat isolated on the rock there. They want to be able to get him back up on his feet, but Nate's still coming over. And look at this while we're looking the other way. DXG in trouble for him while only being two players alive. They are still very angry and very dangerous. And DXG, sorry long. Out they go. 15th place for Division X Gaming. Yikes. Yeah, that was not ideal there for Division X, 4 a.m. Still very dangerous, like you mentioned, even with two uh, Boogie Boogie going to be knocked for TSM. Ooh. SDK looming as well as Furia pushing in. Miraku going to get taken down by a grenade, uh, but it is going to be Kill Demo who finds the, the grenade of Miraku as well. So a trade there so far. Nawadra has been rezzed for Buriram. Detonation Gaming White. They play great defense, but... They're, they kind of have to reach out a bit to get into Burry Ram at all if that's what they so choose to do. Melifo's already been taken down. Machao down to one hit point after that engagement and uh, trying to find angles. Gokri has to worry about TSG behind him as well. So Burry Ram, you need to shoot. You need to pull the trigger when you see somebody. There you go, Gokri. A little bit slow on the reaction there. Gonna see more up over the hill. Burry Ram's gonna have to do a fighting maneuver up through the blue detonation gaming white as well but both teams doing critical damage to each other Buriram, only one left alive and gokri should be able to get the job done he is detonation gaming white but they go down with tsg behind so much collateral damage all these teams taking casualties tsg the ones to clean it up and they make some space for themselves now on the other side stk trying to hold off and they're succeeding at least for now furia down to just one player left alive. Not gonna happen. TSM as well eliminated. Second week, they fall short of the weekly final. Surprise to many, I would assume. Let's see now. Shoot to kill, still up and alive. Eight kills already with 40 players still alive. They need to get the rest up to Penta. Alo is down there and they do get it back on his feet. Yeah, and I'm a little worried about TSG over the top. 
for SDK. Kill Demo as well with that Aug with a great spray. Ooh. Spray out of Purdy. Purdy, another one. Gonna get the double. Luke 12 knocked now as well. So up to Alo and Penta underneath. Penta trying to get up in here with Alo, and they are gonna be able to do it. Penta gonna save the day. That's why you bring him in at 4 a.m. here. Going to go down to E36. Coming alive, getting some kills. All right. like to see it. SDK now has to deal with the push from TSG. TSG trying to see if they can take advantage of the battered, the bruised. Maybe win a fight and then open up a lot of space on this northeastern side if they can win this. Should they try and leave this position, which unfortunately for right now is outside the circle. Mao Yi taken down by Wigged. I mean, Meta, in the while everything else has kind of unfolded, Meta has managed to take a really good center position in the circle. Yeah, Meta's been pretty quiet, but there you go. They, they It allows them to find that center spot like you talked about, and it's pretty good shooting there. Now Uba looked over towards GEX, but doesn't really seem to be wanting to get involved in it, and I, I think this makes a lot mm. of sense. There's no reason to shoot yeah. at this. Let GEX fight VP here and just see what comes out of it. Now we have CC up over the top, gets some pretty decent damage into Hyrus and going to get the knock. Now he's taking some damage of his own. It's actually Meta coming alive from behind. Now FaZe is like, well, if, if Meta's going to get involved, we might as well too. To VP Spiral Batulans still up. Gonna have to go for Rez's shoot to kills. Pentalol hasn't died yet. TSG hasn't been able to suss him out. And they had a knock of their own. They're gonna have to deal with under comes up over the top, has a good shot with that SKS. Looking for one more under. Oh, I bet he wishes he could have that back of a spray up. And he's gonna go for the grenade next. Here come a little bit of reinforcements as well. But Volley Bear says no great wow. grenade from under. Finds the finish on it too, but here comes Gustav. He gets under, down and out. There's Inigo down as well, so Kia Damwon overextends to try to get to TSG. The battle for Hilltop control continues, and right now, FaZe are the ones sitting up on it. Will the circle go their way there, or will they have to crawl back down on the other side? Down one, down to just two players. Circle shifts to the east. There is practically no one over here. Everyone tried to wrap west of the mountain. The entire east was the bloodbath area in many, many circles just prior, and now everyone has to make their way here. Look at a team that's coming in from below. Enter Force. They've had the compound for a while. They can play into the bottom of it now with actually quite a decent amount of space to play around. You expose yourself, but at the same time, had they had to leave the compound and there being a team sitting above them, that would have made for a really hard exit from that sure. uh, from that compound. Let's see now. Virtus Pro looking over, trying to see if they can get a kill down below. Gustav in the meantime over the top. He goes, finds himself a double kill. So TSG eliminated. Neither of us knew how to predict who was going to win this one. It seems meta in the meantime finds Petulins as Virtus Pro still in trouble trying to make their way in. Well, Silzen gonna get knocked here by Lu. Lu has another one lined up. Finally, the return fire is good. Sparking doesn't quite see Lu prone well enough. Uh, I don't know that he'd have an angle anyway. Higher is in Spyro, working down the side of the hill now. They're gonna go for the res. There you go, Wicked and Spy Sparking gonna combine fire, gonna find Lu. There's a rock here for Hires in and his teammate. And let's see what they can do now. They've got those minis blasting away. Grenades could be good. If they find the mark, are they gonna bounce up over that rock? Yes, but they don't connect really. VP does a really nice job maneuvering out of the way. Smart disengage from Virtus Pro. And they try to stay alive as best as they can in an area of the map where there really is the hole up for them to do. Spawn King looks for a kill. They know they have face sitting over the top as well. And face arguably, at least for now, in a better position in the circle. And they are, look at the overview they have from up here. Gustav finds his kill number five. We've told face before. We know about the face Sunday. Here they are with nine kills already. Gustav does get knocked though, but the rest should be safe on the hilltop. Oh boy, yeah, we've seen him do it in the last game of the weekly qualifiers before. FaZe has magic. Everybody knows it. If you've been watching PUBG Esports for forever, I mean, they've, it's just been the story of FaZe. There's always magic in the bottle. And let's see if they can uncork it, pull off another big one once again. Gustav has been raised and Uva continues to watch from down below. E36 works their way up from the south to the north they continue these strong pushes good shooting there it's going to be gustav actually taking down savior getting in the knock on to locks lock so k7 looks to be out of the circle and potentially out of this game here very shortly yeah most definitely now it is going to be very very difficult to work the sides of these these steep cliffs you know do your best mountain goat impersonation here and 
kind of try to ride the sides and get through. Sungjong still has that Murado available and enough of the hill underneath phase to push up ahead. Gustav, though, trying to work through the side. I think he might have saw the back of Sung Sungjong's backpack there. So he's mm. going to let loose with that frag grenade, and it's not going to find the mark. Sungjong had to reposition himself, proning as well to avoid any critical grenade damage. You can minimize that pretty nicely. Is the cover fire going to be good here? For Dom Wan Kia, Sung Jung avoiding disaster so far. Smokes out in front of him. Eventually, those will fade away as he is the last one alive for Dom Wan Kia. Let's see how much damage can it do to FaZe. And also for Meta, how do they react to this? If they realize that FaZe pushed down the hillside, they might want to try and claim control. Only thing is... As you can see here, Interforce might be able to get an angle on them. Should they try to go up? Son Yang will fall down. Face get the Annihilation. Damn one out and forth. We have three teams left. And what better than having three teams all with four players alive for the final chicken of the week of survival? To wait and see Wicket trying to hold the backside angle while the remaining players push further forward. They're in a 2-1-1 split now trying to claim some sort of control. Wicket, the worst thing that could happen for him is if he gets isolated and he does. Pure Boy from below able to find him. There should be no way for him to get back up alive. First face goes for a peak, takes damage and return now. You can see the circle. It's forcing face clan to make a move. Face, so many good games today. Sure, just short of the win. And for both meta and Interforce 36, if one of them win, that will be their respective first times in the weekly finals so much at stake here meta they have claimed the dot i mean what you could say now for meta i mean it is heartbreaking to lose wicked and they would never want to but at least they could talk their native language now so <laughs> for them phase up above still smoke wall out there's gonna be mollies. some mollies thrown at the front of those smokes that's really smart that's gonna block phase in even longer kind of delay them as long as possible give meta the opportunity to wait this out. More smoke's gonna be forced out because of that by phase as they continue to push down the hill. E36 able to hang on at the edge at the <laughs> bottom for now, but the smoke walls are out. This one's gonna get wild at the end. Meta is doing their very best to force Face Clan down towards Enter Force 36. And here they come. First finds one, AC finds the other. Enter Force 36 in trouble. First Face goes down. Ghost Dove goes down as well. Meta trying to hold back, trying to wait this one out. Two down for Face Clan, but they're still alive. 14 kills already. AC down to low HP. Needs to get healed enough. This is chaos unfolding before your eyes. Satu is on fire. Blue is closing in. There's no way you're getting back. That Molly is on point. That Molly is perfect. Opa, did he get out of it? Did he get to stay alive? I'm not sure. Ghost Dove is down into 2v3, Uber down to barely any HP, AC, same situation, players below him, no, Enter falls, falls short, AC, falls as well, Uber, no HP, playing behind the rock, Meta Gaming, they have this position, 3v1, can you do it, Uber, can you do it, no, once again, face full in second, and Meta, welcome to the weekly finals. A huge win there by Meta at the end, and Ragnar gonna give us a celebration chicken <laughs> dance. You love it to see it. The guy is just having a ball as always, and now he has even more reason to celebrate here. It's sparking, giving him some high fives. Look at this, they are beyond excited. Wicked gonna give him a hug.